Welcome back to Desi's Raceway on the South Coast and a big welcome to Malcolm Littlejohn and all the team from Look Oil as they join Super Hatch for the very first time as the proud TV sponsor. One of the largest petrochemical companies in the world, operating in 48 countries and now proudly on board with Super Hatch. Getting involved with Desi's was, uh, it came as, you know, quite a surprise because we were actually looking to get into local racing. Um, to promote to the uh, local market and also launch our products. And yeah, when Desi's came along, we actually were very happy and very glad that, you know, we could be part of it. And yeah, I actually want to thank Desi's and everybody involved in the racing circuit. And as Luke Oil International, Luke Oil Africa, we're just saying watch the space. Our products are coming and yeah, beware. If you're involved with Super Hatch, beware is a very good option. Because <laughs> there's normally epic battles at the front end, and I think there's going to be more of the same here. Particularly at a circuit that no one has been to yet. Jonathan Koenig a bit further back here, Stuart on his left hand side. And you can see the front end of Class B is just ahead of them as they head down into Turn 1. Around the outside, and Chris Davison coming together there with Hilton Van Nieuwenhuizen. Van Nieuwenhuizen goes wide, looks like uh, having to take evasive action. Mona Himon got forced wide as well, our Class B leader. Davison's got a problem. Yes indeed, this car has gone a bit haywire and is losing ground here big time. And look at the 17 cars filtered to the right left chicane and look at that car triple nine Andre De Lange, the C man he's right up there mixing it with the class B's. Incredible start there from De Lange, but he is very very good particularly in that little car. Oh another man is good in the car but got it all wrong. X35 uh, Mona Himon. I think some energy drink required now boy you've got some work to do. You are right in the thick of class C and in fact looks like uh, it's going to be a battle royal to get through on all those cars. This is Mark Detoy. He is currently sitting in about fourth place on track. And oh, out of shape is third place, Peterson. He's got it all wrong coming across the bridge of the dam. Nick Martin sneaks through. He, of course, is leading Class B's. Uh, action of plenty as predicted in the class, but it looks like that man, Brett Garland, is still out front ahead of Hilton van Nieuwenhuizen in the Citroen with car 99. That's Nick Martin. We saw him take some evasive action further down the field. There's car number triple nine, Andre de Lange, doing an amazing job in Class C. Mark Detoy didn't get a great job, unfortunately, up in the hip. And He's lost a lot of ground now, but still maintains third place on track. Van Nieuwenhuizen has snuck through, and in the closing stages, Mordo Hemon is closing on Koenig. Koenig might just hang on for second place in the Class Bs. Van Nieuwenhuizen is definitely going to win out in Class A. Takes the checkered flag, first claw across the line, and beats out Brett Garland. So in Class A, it was all about Van Nieuwenhuizen, Garland, Mark Detoy, fortunately hanging on for third, Peter Sir, and Chris Davison. In the Class Bs, it was all about Nick Martin ahead of Mona Human. What a great drive there to come back. It was the Koenig brothers in third and fourth with Jakob Kriel and Chris van der Vestazen there in sixth position. Class C is a great battle as well. Andre de Lange eventually getting away from Sam Gerber, but Sam Gerber and Malspur went at it right to the line. Also van Weyck beat out Robert Stoltz and Tyler Scott. Let's catch up with Hilton and see how race one went. Red led for most of the race, but in the end I think skill got him and I'm very proud of myself. For getting him at the end, we worked hard, and I'd just like to thank my sponsors for getting me here. I'd like to thank Luke Oil for having us here for the day, and they made it possible for a lot of us to be here today. Thank you very much. A great race in one, and now for race two. And on the pole position, it's going to be Peter Sir and Detoy. A couple of breaks yeah. going through, and uh, looks like some issues to be sorted out, but I'm sure they will be. Peter Sir with a thumbs up. Mel Spur looking fired up as well. Looking to try and close down on Delange if she can. Garland gets a good start off the line and goes past uh, an ailing Trans Africa Racing Honda. And by ailing, he's already dropped down to fifth place. So I think Detoy is out there just trying to score as many points as possible. Koenig leads the Bs. His brother's right on his tail as they go up and over the rise and down into the corkscrew for the first time. We're on board here with Hilton as he sneaks up on the inside. And can he squeeze Peter Sarat? He's got the better line for the hip. And if he can keep it all together, they are now side by side. And he gets through. Really impressive driving there from Hilton van Nieuwenhuizen and over that drive, such a blind turn and it looks like, oh, there's the battle. That's Garland trying to get past Peter there and a better start there in Class B for Mona Human. Yeah, he's right with Nick Martin, but the two of them got to close down on the Peugeots out front. The Koenig boys are looking pretty much like they are the men to beat. Whoa, did I say that? How was that for a turn of pace? 
Incredible stuff. I think there might be a problem here. That bump that uh, happened earlier on between Koenig and Nick Martin is making him fall by the wayside. Inspector falling by the wayside. Hello. That's Delanger. Class C leader and Class C second place locking up with Ulta Van Vink. The ladies are in the house here at Desi's Raceway. Well done, Mal. Just tyres squealing all over this Desi racetrack. And now this is the battle on track. And that is Mornay Human in the Class B car. He's really much better start. We saw him in race number one spin out. But no problems here for Hilton van Nuvenezen at the moment out front in that Citroen. He's got Brett Garland and Vanna Peterson just behind him battling for second and third. And that's how they ended up as they crossed the line. Mona Himon is going to take Class B's and a fifth place overall in that Class B golf of his. Mal Spur, what a drive. Class C honours after the demise of Andre de Lange. She'll be happy with that nonetheless. An incredible drive there, beating out Sam Gerber and Alte van Wijk. The Class A, there you see it, Hilton van Nieuwenhuizen, Brett Garland and Vanna Peterson, Detroit and Chris Davison in fifth place. There was a change up in Class B with Mornay Human taking the win ahead of the Quinning brothers. Jaku Creel this time up in fourth, Chris van der Vesthuizen in fifth and Nick Martin down in sixth with those car troubles. Mal Spur with Class C honours in race number two, beating Sam Gerber and Alte van Wijk, Tyler Scott, Robert Stoltz and Andre de Lange, unfortunately with the DNF. Great drive at a new circuit for Mornay Human and X35 Golf. It was definitely the eight, or the longest eight laps of the of the year so far. But um, we had a we had a nice start for a change. A um, little bit of argy bargy going on in the beginning, but uh, fortunately we we were able to get to the front and then take it to the flag.